Ella, Chapter 15 Back to Bakersfield Ella and Gabby made the trip back to Bakersfield from West L.A. The I-5 was quick and Ella felt more confident on the drive back than earlier this morning when they first headed to Los Angeles. The speed limit was 70 miles per hour. The traffic was light and they made good time. Gabby was hoping that there were still honest people in the world, and in Bakersfield in particular. When they arrived at the hotel in Bakersfield, Gabby was still hopeful. She knew the universe loved her, even if she didn't know exactly what its plan was. She knew it would work out for everyone's good. Ella, on the other hand, made a more direct prayer. God, let the money still be there. The desk clerk relayed the good news. They indeed had found the money belt. Gabby wanted to give the housekeeper a reward. The young Hispanic woman would not take the reward, though. All Gabby could say was, Gracias. The much relieved and happy couple drove three blocks down the street to the extended stay motel, ordered chicken, and started poring over the map to find out where they were going to go now. How about San Luis? said Ellie. Where my daughter stayed that time, said Gabby. I remember that it's near the ocean. And I definitely want to see the ocean, added Ella. The next day, they started out from Bakersfield to San Luis Obispo on Highway 58. The man at the front desk informed them that it was a pretty straight shot from where they were. Just take your time, he warned. They began in the town of Buttonwillow. They drove up down and around and through the most mountainous land Ella had ever seen, though that may not mean much coming from a Florida girl. She held the steering wheel tight as she navigated the curved and hilly roads. At one point, they drove through a naval petroleum reservoir site. Then they saw it, a massive bank of fog coming over the Panza and Sierra Madre mountain ranges, enveloping the valley as it rolled over the land. The sight was awesome. San Luis Obispo was awesome, too. The Rose Garden Inn was a sight for sore eyes, surrounded by rose bushes and the mountains. There was no smoking, but the desk clerk gave them a room on the second floor with a tiny balcony on which they could go outside. Gabby gave Ella the key to the room and went to check out the restaurant while Ella finished unpacking the car. On Gabby's way back to their room, she noticed something on the ground. As she got closer, she realized that it was a joint in lime-flavored paper. She scooped it up surreptitiously and continued to her room. Ella, she squealed when she came into the room. Look what I found. What is it, honey? Ella asked. Gabby pulled her into the bathroom. Come here, she pleaded as she pulled on Ella's arm. Look, Gabby said with wonder. I found it on the sidewalk. It's like the universe is sending me a message that this is the place. To be continued.